the NOW robot is involved in clinical tests with autistic population, definitely a, a different area in research milestones. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's something very interesting. Uh, I don't know if you knew at the beginning, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that the SMS would make the success of mobile phone, but we didn't know that. And we don't know what will be the main success, the main app of the robots. And we are trying, helping all the population of users, uh, hobbyists as well as research lab to ex or distributors to explore and discover new ways of using the robot. One day, by chance, we discovered on YouTube a video uh, casted by uh, a hospital in Indiana, United States. And they were working with autistic kids. And they were using the robot to help autistic kids. Wow, what was it about? So we began to dig inside and we discovered that, well, maybe you know that, but autistic kids have their brain uh, not correctly formed and they are not able to interact properly with people. But they are able to interact with, with technology. Uh, they have some rituals. Uh, they are comfortable in doing always the same thing in the same order. In the morning, they are putting their left sock, and after that, the right sock, and after that, uh, and so on and so on. Always the same rituals. And robots are very good at rituals. Uh, and, and so they are exploring how the robot can help the autistic kids. And they discovered that, for instance, they have educators to help autistic kids, and these educators are teaching them, touch your nose, great, touch your nose, no, that's your forehand, touch your nose, for hours, because they need time to learn. And here, too, robot is really helpful. So they are using the robot, our robots, as a, a tool for educators helping autistic kids. And it's fantastic, and I'm so happy to have our robot really useful, helping some population of disabled kids, helping some people, and you know what? Not substituting to humans. They are not doing something that someone could do. They are doing something complementary. We cannot do that because of the brain of autistic kids. But it's something fantastic.